So friends. Hey, it's Bridget from Cooking with Bridget. I promised you this day would come. And it's here! Aren't you excited? If you're not, get excited or just leave, you know? Make sure you add cooking with B. And Before we start, we have one thing to do, though. You'll realize, what is Bridget wearing? <laughs> A long sleeve sweatshirt? Um... This is cooking and cutoffs, Bridget. I'm so sorry. We'll teach her our ways. We'll be right back, folks. So, while Bridget is changing, I'll just fill you in real quick. Today we are going to make two things, one on my channel and one on hers, so make sure you add Cooking with B. So first, we are going to make pumpkin pasties! All of you Harry Potter fans will agree this is going to be a great day. She's here folks, she's fierce, and she's in a cutoff. It's time for the collab of Cooking in Cutoffs and Cooking with Bridget. Sugar! Ooh. Didn't even explain, folks. Okay, first we're making the pumpkin filling. You have to bake that first. Cinnamon, not for the cinnamon challenge. That is dangerous. Do not do it. What are you doing over here, Bridget? I'm adding a half a teaspoon of de sel, which is salt in French. Congrats, you learned something new. She's so glad. One qu Two quarters. Three quarters of ground ginger. And half a teaspoon of nutmeg. All the good spices here, folks, and I can't flip the camera. Hey! And last but not least, a quarter tablespoon of quarter ground. tablespoon or teaspoon teaspoon of ground cloves. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Fish, for not allowing our viewers to have a weird taste in Philly. Thanks, Mom. Here's the real challenge, folks: the one-handed crack. Can she do it? Oh, ooh, skill! Oh, no, just Oh, whoa, weird lighting stuff. And now, friends, my favorite ingredient in the whole wide world because of my basic white girlness, canned pumpkin. Libby's brand is the best. Look at that pumpkin, folks. Egg, sugar, cinnamon. This is going to be good. <laughs> and we're mixing. Things are happening. It's getting blended. Egg yolks are breaking. <laughs> So, real-time confession here on cooking and cutoffs, folks. I've never, ever used a KitchenAid mixer. So, Bridget is teaching me how. <laughs> We're testing out this old two-person cooking thing, and we almost forgot to add, like, major ingredients, but we saved it, don't worry. Whoa. Like I said, she's fierce, folks. So, Bridget, so kindly, so kindly, Added some uh, evaporated milk, milk. <laughs> to our filling. It's really liquidy. Folks, we have poured our luxurious pumpkin filling into a beautiful <laughs> greased bowl, and we're going to cook it for 45 minutes. So now, folks, while that is cooking, we are going to start working on the cooking with Bridget recipe. So if you haven't already, add cooking with B. Um, Oops, that's my water I'm... is <laughs> turn the butter down or you're gonna be everywhere in the microwave, people. <laughs> Sneak peek of what's happening on cooking with B. Time is nigh, my friends. Into the oven we go for the first fifteen yep minutes. Oh, will it fit? Yep. It Folks, all the action happening here, we turned down the oven temp. It was a challenge, but we did it. And also Mama Fish's soup looks really good. Nice. Okay. Look at this. She pre-measures her ingredients while she's waiting. That is just too on top of things. I can't turn the So guys, since Bridget is all for this whole like preparation, like be ready for what's coming next, we're getting ready. There's about four minutes left and we are already flowering the surface upon which we are going to roll out this pie crust. It's already rolled, but close enough. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be crafty in the kitchen. Like seriously, this recipe calls for like a four inch circle cookie cutter. What? What? Yes. We got crafty and we're using a juicer jar and a donut cutter. Wow. If you don't have these, then you're SOL. 
So what we are doing behind me, as you can see, kind of, almost, is we are making circles to put our filling in. Also, you know, we just started cooking, and normally I explain how weird my hair is for the day, and let me just tell you. <laughs> so, like, I tried to do it, and then I was like, wait, it's a cooking and cutoffs day, so it doesn't necessarily matter if it looks good. So... In the words of Bridget Fish, this is what we got. <laughs> and it looks a little weird. It's not me. Oh, what? It's the Bridget's a little confused. She thinks we're getting the home skillet biscuits out of the oven. <laughs> Anything to explain, Bridget? Nope. <laughs> so, okay, you, you remember when we made the spritz cookies with the cookie gun? Yeah. Great cookies. Beautiful cookies. They're beautiful because they shined. Well was due to our scrum diddly umptious egg white wash that we put on top before baking. So we're gonna do that again today. So you watchers already know how to do that. Wow, look at all these skills you're learning on cooking and cutoffs. But if you do need a little refresher, all you do is crack the egg, see, and then pull the egg yolk out. Look how easy that was. So we are at a standstill, folks. We are just so efficient that even when we're like making two recipes at once, we have to wait. If we aren't the definition of like great bakers, um, you're gonna have to get a new definition. Just rewrite your dictionary, scratch out the old definition. So folks, after I tell you how great of bakers we are, I am not rescinding that statement. But I will tell you that we didn't really read the recipe very close, so I lied before. We don't need that same egg wash. We'll be using the egg whites to seal the pumpkin pasties. If you don't know what a pumpkin pasty is, you better get watching those seven movies, on. <laughs> and for those of you who didn't know, I don't know if I said it, but pumpkin pasties are from Harry Potter. Wait, I said that. Oops. Anyways. The egg yolk is going to be what's going on top. I haven't seen this before. We're mixing it with some heavy whipping cream, and then that's going to go on top. Wow, guys. Look at that cutoff. And look at that cheesecake. Mm. And here is the creator. Who are you? I'm Bridget. So like I said, if you want to see how that beautiful, beautiful cheesecake was made, you'll have to tune in with, or two. <sighs> You'll have to tune into Cooking with B because she makes amazing desserts. Like, they look so good. How does she do it, folks? So, what we've done is we've realized that maybe we didn't bake this right because the consistency was a little weird, so we just stirred it. And now it's all better! read the recipe the most, so she's going to do this. It's a rather large tablespoon. <laughs> so, dib dab dab do 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 oh god, um, no trademarks, no copyright. Our pinching isn't going so well, but we will make it work. Did it. So this is what we are endorsing as the correct amount, folks. Hopefully we'll see once we actually get it put together. Whew. Okay, so... You sprinkle so. them with sugar before they go in the oven, and then the cinnamon sugar after they come out of the oven. We know what we're doing. So, pumpkin pasties, egg wash, egg wash going on pasties, then we're going to sprinkle sugar on them and into the oven they go. Look at those. Wow. Egg wash, sugar, mm, oven. Folks. 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 <laughs> Pumpkin pasties. Pump. Sprinkling cinnamon sugar blend. Ooh. Ah, wow, mm, those look good, but guess what, uh, turn, 
I ate one. In I ate one in their little doy, but the main point is, is that we made a Harry Potter dessert! We did it. And the most important thing is that the two desserts we made don't go together at all. Think about that. Pumpkin paskies, 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 and cheesecake. So thank you, folks. You folks. You. Yeah, you right there. Oh, there you are. The most important part is that we have fun. <laughs> But I've never done one where we had to wait so much. It was kind of... And considering that we're both, like, tired, like, we hit a wall, folks. It was just kind of like... like... We made it. Hey! So, everyone, remember, follow Bridget. I have gave you her username a million times cooking with me. And like the Facebook page. Because the next big news is going to be released there. Oh, big news. Oh. oh. Goodbye, folks. Bye. Have a lovely evening. Bye. Day? Evening? I don't know. Have a lovely hour. <laughs> evening. <laughs> oh, folks. So, I'm home, and I forgot to say just a few things. Just a few. Just hold, bear with me. You, you'll be okay. So, since that was my first collab, I would love any feedback you want to give me. If it was horrible, tell me it was horrible. If it was great, tell me that too. And even if it's not feedback about the collab, I forgot to say just comments, concerns, questions, answers, jokes, uh, anecdotes. Send them all my way um, because I would love to see all of them, hear all of them. So otherwise, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.